One of the most used applications in any business is Microsoft Outlook. It is often the first application we start up in the morning and the last one we close out at the end of our day. And because this program is such an integral part of our workday, most of us have a tendency to think we know how to use it pretty well. And because of this, may have missed some of the great little secrets of this amazing program. In this week's iTech Insights, we are sharing a few tips and tricks to Outlook that just maybe you don't know about that can really help you use this core application more efficiently. I am Jeff Clark, Technical Consultant with PixI Tech, and it's time for another episode of iTech Insights. Most of us are familiar with the CC or carbon copy feature of Outlook, where you input the names of everyone who is to be copied in on an email. The problem is that when someone receives your email, they see a long list of everyone else who was copied in. Did you know that there's another option called BCC or blind carbon copy, which hides the list of the other email recipients? When you create a new email, if you don't already see the BCC field as an option, simply click on the CC field at the bottom of the page. You will then see that BCC is now available. Just input the addresses of those you wish this email to go out to and you're done. If the BCC field is something that you want to use more frequently, you can add that as a default option just like the carbon copy feature is by creating a new email, selecting the Options tab and clicking on BCC. Using the blind carbon copy field is also a great way to cut down on that whole reply all problem in which everyone ends up being part of someone else's reply to you that was really meant just for you. Follow up flags have been a part of Microsoft Outlook for several iterations now, but most people don't use them because it seems like just another thing you have to sort through later. Did you know that if you click on the little red flag next to an email, it actually adds that email to the tasks folder? This is a super easy way to find emails which require further attention or action simply by going into the tasks folder. And once you've followed up on the email in question, just click the flag again and the email is removed from the task list. You can even create rules which flag important emails and then using the tasks folder you can easily identify them and check them off after you've read them. Outlook is used for more than just emails. It is also typically our default calendar for managing our day-to-day -day activities and appointments. Many times a new calendar reminder or appointment may be the result of an email correspondence. In some cases, the information within that email or even a number of different emails is pertinent to your upcoming event. Most people will copy and paste the contents of that email into their Outlook appointment. Another great way of creating a calendar event from an email is to right click on the email you want included. While holding down the right click, drag the email to your calendar. This will bring up a prompt asking how you would like to attach this email to your calendar. Do you want to just copy the text from the email? Do you want to attach the email to the event? Or even more useful, do you want to invite everyone copied in on the email to an event that pertains to this particular subject? Microsoft Outlook is chocked full of little tricks like these that encompass more than just email and calendars, that we couldn't possibly fit them into a single iTech Insight. So if you've got a particularly great feature of Outlook that we've missed, that you think we should share with our followers in future episodes, please let us know. You can reach out to us by sending us an email at insights at pixitech.com, or you can visit our website at pixitech.com forward slash insights, from which you can fan us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, link with us on LinkedIn, and see all of the other great technical tips that we provide. I hope that you find the tips and tricks in this episode of iTech Insight as useful as I have. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Jeff Clark with PixiTech, and that's another episode of iTech Insights.